We've been promised three things since the 1950s. Mills in pill form, healthy cigarettes, and racial segregation. Wait, I mean flying cars. <laughs> well, one of those things has finally arrived. Are you ready for flying cars? Uber says they're gonna have flying electric taxis by 2020. They'll be showing them off in real life. They go up and down like that, like a helicopter. Really? Uber has trouble finding us on the ground. <laughs> now we're gonna trust them in the sky? Also, why would I trust someone who's flying around as a side gig? <laughs> I don't want my pilot to be the guy who's in between jobs, okay? Forget Uber, I want a flying car I can drive myself. And guess what, that's happening too. Tired of traffic on the daily commute? Just jump in the flying car and leave the congestion behind. Some companies report they're getting much closer. A Slovakian company has unveiled... Okay, wait, time out. <laughs> nope, sorry, I'm out. I wouldn't want to get into a Slovakian regular car, <laughs> let alone a Slovakian flying car. If you asked me what technology Slovakia was working on, I would have said, uh, I don't know, sheep? Uh. <laughs> but okay, Slovakia, show us what you got. A Slovakian company has unveiled one flying car. It'll reportedly set you back more than a million bucks. It drives for about 435 miles at 99 miles an hour and takes about three minutes to transform from a regular car to a plane. You also need a pilot's license and darn it, you can't take off from highways. Okay, that is pretty cool. But that's not a flying car, that's just a plane, okay? <laughs> you can't just call things cars. A submarine isn't an underwater car. <laughs> just like a roller skate isn't a foot car. <laughs> and a horse isn't a car that's <laughs> on the street. <laughs> okay? Come on, science, isn't there a flying car that doesn't require a pilot's license and a runway? Check this out. This is a prototype for a flying car made by an aerospace engineer company called Kitty Hawk. The open-seated 220-pound vehicle is powered by eight battery-powered propellers to soar across the skies. Okay, two things. One, that looks super cool. And two, everyone is gonna die. Everyone. <laughs> Everybody, the pilot's gonna die, the friend waiting beneath the propeller for their turn, that guy's gonna die, and hey, at least you're already at the lake so you can just spread your ashes all over it, right? It's very convenient. <laughs> now, you're probably thinking, how are they gonna convince anyone to get on this death trap? Well, with a slick commercial. Hello? Hey, Lori, what you guys up to? Hey, Lise. Just getting ready for dinner. Mark invited a few friends over. Oh, nice. Well, I'd love to see you. Well, do you want to join us? Maybe you could bring the boat over. <laughs> I have something better in mind. I'll see you in two minutes. So basically, rich people were sitting around thinking, hmm, we've got motorboats, we've got jet skis. What's another way we can be giant assholes on a lake? <laughs> and by the way, you live in a beautiful house next to the beautiful mountains on a beautiful lake, and that's not enough for you? You have to be like hovering 10 feet above it all like a god? When can you just admit that you'll never be happy, okay? You don't need a flying car.